Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Sidekuru. In this video, I'll like to compare the Realme X1 Max versus Mi 11X device. So which phone to buy right now? The main reason why I'm uploading this video is right now because the Realme X1 Max is available for about sale in the Flipkart. So there's an additional exchange offer is going on and the bank offers are going on on the Realme X1 Max. And a lot of users are actually planning to buy this phone. But even same thing applies for the Mi 11X device as well. Even in the Amazon website, you can actually get really good exchange deals on the Mi 11X smartphone. So these are the comments which I'm getting right now, as you can see. So M Realme X1 Max is 13,000 and Mi 11X is at 16,000. So which phone to buy? Not only one person, I think so many people they did message me saying that uh, which phone is the best option so in this video i'll try to clarify a few of the doubts so after using this both phones for a very long time i did understand uh, which phone has got what type of really solid thing that's what i'm going to exactly demonstrate in this video i'll try to talk about in each and every category i'll try to declare the winner so which phone is best and why so in this way we'll be able to conclude the final conclusion as well which phone to buy as well so first thing is about the performance segment so in terms of the performance they are kind of uh, Makes your feelings. I mean, the reason why I'm saying this kind of thing is because so the real Mix and Max has got the dimensity 1200 and the MI 11X has got the Snapdragon 870 chipset. So, few users they, they know about the Snapdragon process and they'll def definitely trust the Snapdragon. And few users they like the dimensity process and then they'll buy it. But if you're a kind of person who is confused to pick which processor, so I'll tell you one thing is about the Snapdragon process. So, in the past, I did use plenty of Snapdragon process and few of the games, if you're a gamer, I mean, if you're a gamer, then definitely you need to think. If you're not a gamer and average user and normal medium type users, so it doesn't matter much. Yes, between these both process doesn't matter much. Only for the AV gaming only. Then I'm trying to mention that Snapdragon process is slightly better in terms of the optimization. But one thing is that there are slight hopes for this Dimensity 1200 process. The main reason why? Because the 1200 which is present in this Realme X and Max, same present in the Poco F3 GT and even in the OnePlus Nord 2 as well. So when this different different companies, different different they include this kind of Dimensity process, definitely in the future, we may see optimization coming to the process as well but right now battery runs mobile game 90 fps is present in the realme x1 max so for heavy usage maybe i'll try to recommend slightly for the snapdragon process for the stable performance levels that's the one thing but the snapdragon 870 is good but snapdragon 870 plus miui is not that great it's not getting that much stable as expected that's the one thing friends overall in the performance segment i would say kind of equal points because of this miui we are not seeing that much of stable performance levels in the mi linux device but with the recent update miui 12.5 the RAM management got really improved, far better than this Realme X1 Max in the RAM management. If you are extreme type of person, definitely RAM management did help in the MIUI update as well. That's the one thing. I did upload plenty of videos. You will definitely understand what I meant as well. So for each and every small thing, whatever I mentioned, there's a separate video uploaded. So in the performance segment, it's up to you to decide, friends. But for me, if you ask me which processor I'll try to decide, I'll try to go for the Snapdragon process. But Snapdragon in the MIUI is not third good in this segment that's the reason i'm trying to give the equal points next is the display display points i'm trying to give points for the realme x and max the main reason is couple of things so first it doesn't have any kind of green tint issues yes there's no green tint issue second there is no black color uh, crush issue which is going on in the mi linux device so there's no no such problems in the mi linux device and i'm not saying all the users will be having these issues few users so if you are lucky then definitely not but if you're unlucky then you will get this kind of issues but these are the very small things which are uh, bothering about the green tint issues and black color crush issues if you look at the amazon ratings you can definitely see the sample images whatever uh, the problems are that's the one thing and regarding the display quality if you ignore those so both are kind of really good displays friends so far 120 hertz refresh rate 360 hertz are touch sampling rate as well that's also another uh, thing which is present in both phones but by default we are getting less touch sampling rate in this phone more touch sampling rate in this device in the mi linux device so in the display segment i did say all the pros and cons as well and hdr i think amazon prime hd is up right now supported in the i think both phones as well that's another thing so next regarding the camera so in terms of the camera also i'm kind of uh, the only th two things which i cannot guarantee for every user will be having good the first is the camera and second is the battery life these two always depends upon the users for the performance definitely i can talk a little bit kind of strong but this camera and the battery it depends upon the personal opinion that is what uh, i would say definitely friends i cannot say 100 percent x1 max is good 100 percent ml linux is good i'll just give you my views what i am thinking about these both phones so 
after you see personal only then you will be able to understand what is the camera capabilities of this both phones but let me just exactly give you the couple of examples what i taken in this ml linux device so one thing i did like in the ml linux device is about the front cam wide angle yes the front cam is really wide in this ml linux smartphone when compared with the realme x1 max that's the one advantage which i did see for example in this shot you can see the wide angle how much it is there in the ml linux device the area how much it's covering as you can see the wide angle shot exactly and the room color as well it's kind of close to the subject the room color it did not go washed out the dynamic range so front cam i did like in the mi 11x smartphone so 4k 60 is present in the realme x1 max 4k 30 is present in this phone that's another drawback little bit but not a huge so apart from the front cam let me just show a couple of back camera shots as well so night cam is both phones are kind of slightly close to each other in terms of the night cam nothing much major difference at this point in night cam shots not a huge difference i would say in terms of the night cam nothing much major thing i did not notice any kind of uh, difference in the night camera shot between these both phones as you can see both are kind of slightly close to each other only even with the recent update the realme x and max also got really improved the front cam clarity that's another thing front cam this is a before update i did take but after update the front cam clarity also got increased so these are the things which you can check my video samples for the more details in the camera comparisons where you will see a lot of information regarding the camera samples as well so next is about the connectivity wise so i mean battery in the charging so battery backup i'm getting kind of close to each other each other nothing much huge difference in the battery backup charging speed obviously 50 minutes and this ml linux stays kind of close to 55 minutes sometimes 60 minutes charging speed that's the difference between both phones so battery backup friends for me same i'm not getting any kind of huge difference i cannot say at this stage so same type of battery life i'm getting in both phones so next is about the connectivity in the connectivity segment i think slight points for the ml uh, i mean realme x and max because of having more 5g bands and in the 4g play signals both are very strong wi-fi both are strong solid no issues only more 5g bands in the realme x and max device so next is about the build quality and the aptic feedback so in terms of the aptic feedback and the build quality so this one has got plastic type of build quality and this has got glass type of build quality on the back side as you can see here so it also depends upon the users as well as well in terms of the build quality but if you want the less weight phone with a single land usage then realme x and max will be the good option because single land you can actually type really good but in the ml linux device it's slightly big display so you need to stretch the and as well that's the one thing you should understand so we do get the dual speaker setup in both phones so both are fantastic so there's not much an issue but 3.5mm jack is another biggest added bonus point for the realme x1 max which we cannot ignore that so build quality wise slightly advantage for the realme x1 max which has got 3.5mm jack ui and software updates both are kind of same realme ui mi ui i've been using for the past few years so there's not much complaints but mi phones they do have a lot of other customization options like uh, you can install custom roms and you can do a lot of other bloatware and different uh, os you can actually install in the mi phones mostly and there will be a lot of options available for the mi phones that is the reason few of the users if they want to use the custom roms or they want to uh, unlock the boot, lock, boot unlocking and they want if they want to install any other different rom you can actually do that and there are so much of resources are provided for the mi linux device more than the realme phones that's the one advantage which i can definitely say that so in case of the these are the final conclusion friends if you are the normal user medium user then definitely you can go for the real max and max and if you are heavy user so heavy user and if you want to install this kind of different different custom roms and all those things if you want the snapdragon process then definitely go for the mi linux device in my experience doesn't matter what phone you pick there will be advantages and there will be disadvantages so you should decide what advantages you want and what advantages you will delete them so that's it friends thank you for watching and see in the next video i'll just for more updates and if the price matters right now the realme x and max slightly having advantage for the price segment for more details don't forget to follow the playlist which will give the clear idea what is going on between the both phones see in the next video friends i'll just stay tuned meanwhile signing off bye right now as you can see friends